G G I F. Hello, everyone. I am Sky P. Marshall, and I am joined by my amazing, incredible Earth Angel of a co star, Tobias. <laughs> What's up, Sky? What's up, Tobias? Yo, everybody out there, we're so excited for you guys to see our new movie, To Her With Love, starring, mm -hmm. starring Sky, is going down this weekend, coming up really soon. That's What's right. Oh, Scott, talk to them. Right. So, you know, Hallmark, they sent us some mm -hmm. questions, right? So mm -hmm. I was like, okay. I get nervous sometimes when people send me questions. But I'm like, you know what? It's Hallmark Movies and Mysteries. I think we're safe. I think we're in a, we're in a safe right. space here. So they sent us some questions. Mm -hmm. And Tobias and I are just, you know, we got a freestyle. It's and we're just going to go ahead and answer some questions so that you guys can get to know a little bit more about us and our characters and our amazing movie, To Her With Love. Absolutely. You look amazing, by the way. Oh, I thank you. You know, I'm keeping it mahogany for the people. Mahogany. You feel me? <laughs> Okay, right, I'm going to go ahead and start off. All right. First question. Mm. In To Her With Love, mm -hmm. I play Kayla, mm -hmm, and she and Jordan, played by Tobias, they uh, quickly find themselves working together. Can we share how our characters first meet? How do our characters first meet? Oh, they meet in the lobby of the school. Uh, yeah, my, my character Jordan is is like this all around, do it everything kind of teacher in a I wouldn't say failing school school system, but uh a working school system that needs help and needs to kinda like do it all kind of kind of guy. And Sky's character, Kayla, comes to the school looking for a new gig and they they, they bump into each other. Uh literally. Yeah, yeah. Uh, miscommunication because <laughs> my character thinks that Sky is actually a, a, a person from the district, but she's actually a teacher coming in there for a new job. And yeah. I, so I, I think that I'm a scary person, but I'm really actually not. Right. Uh, but Kayla's first time, not so much meeting, but seeing Jordan was at Service Saturdays, honey. Right. And uh, you didn't see me, but Kayla saw saw you. And uh, let's just say, I think that's where the interest immediately sparked. Okay. And then I had to put that out. <laughs> I had other goals and ambitions to focus on. Yeah, yeah, right. yeah, yeah. I forgot about that. Yeah. I saw me before I saw you. Uh, <laughs> you saw Jordan before Jordan saw Kayla. You know, it's usually the women that spot the men first. Yeah, the yeah. men are just like therapy, therapy, therapy in their own world. But the women, we could spot you a mile away. Mm -hmm. You know, we got. And then make you think it was your idea. Right, right. All right. So we both play teachers, and yeah. it's such an important role in the community. You know, being a teacher and stuff. Do we have any teachers that made an impact in our lives? I know I can think of, you know, some or people that made an impact in my life. Uh, yeah. On you. I mean, I can go with. Uh, one, mm -hmm. and her name is Miss Turner at Arai Middle School in Uptown Chicago. And she was my teacher for like three different classes, but she was the first one to push me to actually do my own solo dance performance up front of like the kids of Uptown Chicago. And yeah. they were not nice. Like that was the gauntlet. Like she threw me in the heat. And yeah. I was like, Miss Turner, no, Miss Turner, no. And she did. And it was and it was like one of the most incredible experiences. And she just sat there and watched me and was like, mm -hmm. I told you. And she just kind of watched me. I I'm I'm I in my in the back of my heart, my heart and my head. I just always think that she's still watching me and yeah. pushing me. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. I spent some time in Chicago at the schools looking at some of the young people performing stuff, and I mean amazing time. Incredible. I blown away with the type of talent that was coming out of these young people. I mean, young people. Yeah, and, and they need that that encouragement. They need that push. Yeah, yeah, the, yeah. the Jordans and the Kaylas and the Miss Turners, you know? So yeah. I was very happy to step in those shoes. Yeah, now for me, I think about, you know, teachers come in many different forms. And I think about my Pop Warner uh, football coach, mm. Penny Wolf, Penny Wolf, you know? That 12, 13, 14, 11, 12, 13, 14 year old age is such an informative year. Those those years 
really can make or break a, a person's character and who they become. And I think about the camaraderie of team and him just a, being a kind of like a, a man's man. Yeah. A guy that just like expected a lot out of you, but he also gave so much of himself to the team. And I look at that kind of like father figure and that type of person in that environment really laid down some of the foundations and cornerstones to my character and who I am being that team type of player and being in that uh, camaraderie sports environment. Kenny Wolf, I love you, man. I'll forever love you, man, for uh, oh, I you love being that. there for me. I love that. And, you know, our teachers got to know us and that's how they were able to propel us into what we were passionate about, mm -hmm. among, like past our fears. And in the movie, To Her With Love, mm -hmm. I'm gonna do that every time I say the title, To, to Her With Love. love. Um, <laughs> Kayla, you know, she asked her students, I think for them, some of them for the first time, like what is their favorite type of art? I was able to right. teach them to really go deep and, and, and figure that out. So I'm right. curious, what is, what is your favorite type of art, Tobias? Ooh. And movies count. Because movies are art. My favorite type, of, I'm, I love music. I love music. I love music. Music is my soul. Music is my, yeah. my, my lifeline. Music, music keeps me grounded in food. But music is, I, I would say music is high on that list. It's, but, you know, I love drama. It's what I do. Um, I love, you know, the craft. I love exploring. I love being to interact with souls and energies and that kind of connection stuff that you get in the theater, you know, that just that intimate connection is just something special and just being able to express your artistry in that way is, uh, I love what I do. But those two, are, you know, they're neck and neck. One I'm not really that good at that I love, and the other one I do, <laughs> and I'm in it. <laughs> I'm the same way, I have a neck to neck, and, and it's photography. Mm -hmm. I love photography, and especially with the advancement of these cell phones. Yes. Like, I, I walk around town, I'm like, oh, yeah, that's a good frame. And I'm like, my friends are like, oh, would you just get in the Uber? Um, <laughs> I've convinced myself that I'm a professional photographer, but, like, I think anyone can be if you have an eye. If you that's see right. something that's considered art to you and you capture that moment, that's art. You know, so Absolutely. I consider myself a photographer. Well, remember, I did that to you on set. Like Absolutely. a few times, yep. I was like, okay, Tobias, because I was stealing all the lighting was already I, set up. Hey. I had professional lighting. I was to like, her, Tobias, come here. I heard with love okay, fans. Chin I'm down, talking. chin down, shoulders yeah. back. To oh, her we had a love fans. Sky, she did that. And I mean, her eye was And those screen. photos are killer. Yeah, she's like, don't move. I'm like, okay. <laughs> and I love those photos. And straight like, oh, we need you guys to sit. I'm like, just one second, because the way this light is hitting his jawline, if you just give me a minute. Yeah, they were over me. And then TV and film, because, yeah, it's like I have to always tell myself they're just acting. They're just acting. They're just acting. But I'm still like, don't go through the door. Right. No, no, no. And I'm like, how do I still fall for this every time? So the fact that it is, you know, our industry, TV and film is able to c keep my inner child and in constant like attention. That's what I love, you know, because many times our day to day can keep us adulting. And TV and film allows us to just be suspended in this disbelief and and feel all the emotions on our spectrum that sometimes adults, we don't give ourselves permission to feel all of our feelings, yeah. you know, so to be able to just turn on and and kind of go on that journey with characters like I know our audience is going to do with us because yeah. we go on an emotional journey with each other. Yes. My goodness. Yeah. Um, yeah. I think you and I have the same thing. And music, of course, but we could. We love it. We love it. We do. All right. Where are we at? Um, okay, so our students get uh, treated to some great advice by mm -hmm. a celebrity that I grew up loving mm -hmm. so much, Shanice. Yeah. Oh, do you remember when she started belting in the mm -hmm. in the auditorium and everybody was just frozen? An angel speaks. I, I, I it literally just, she took my breath away. Mm -hmm. um, anyway, <laughs> what was it like for you working with that? Oh, man. I mean, you know, about, that's the beautiful thing I, I love about what we do is just that uh, some of my, my heroes, some of my favorite artists become my friends or my peers or people that I get a chance to work with. So Shanice is one of those. Like, you grow up listening to her music and being a part of it and all the stories and fun created moments that happen from that her, her, her music you know people that have 
you know, you had those certain, I'm just, just my, all those things. Mm -hmm. People talk about that all the time. And then when you get a chance to meet them and then they're just as sincere and then just as cool. And then to get a chance to work with them, that's the magic. It's just a win-win and it's great spirit, great soul, great voice. It was great. And then I met her husband, Flex. Like, Amazing. I've been a fan of Flex for so long. Oh, yeah, I've been a fan of Flex. Shout out to Flex. Yeah, so, you know, yeah. great, great, great people. Yeah, I, same. I mean, Shanice is just made of yeah. black girl magic dust. And, like, when she says to me, like, like I, I think I was in my lines. She was like, Sky, um, is it okay if we could rehearse together? And I was like... This woman has been on the stage for decades in Broadway, and and to know that she had the same nerves as me, you know, yep. I love that so much about when you do, like you said, you meet um, people that we idolize and love, and then you get these moments to just see them be humans, yes. and they're and you know and 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 they want to rehearse, and they're and they get stage fright, and yeah. they have all the feels, and they're in their hair and. You know, like it was very a sweet moment that um, I'll just remember forever. Yeah. 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 It was really nice. All yeah. right. So the students in Kayla and Jordan school have been let down by teachers before. How does our characters working together help we regain, regain their trust? I, yeah, I could speak from my own experience. I can trust someone easily the way I trusted you. Mm -hmm. You know, because we have to trust each other with our vulnerability and 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 the, the you know, you're, you're my scene partner. And I think it is really um, not just being interesting, but being interested. I think that's extremely important. And like when I first met you, you came in with the questions and I was just like, oh, God, he really wants to know a lot about me. And I just want to know a lot about him. And then, you know, with that, we were able to put a spotlight Right. Um, on. Yeah. Literally, literally and figuratively on things that we would catch in, in, in conversation. We did that with each other. And and I believe that that's what my character Kayla does with the students. I asked the right question. I was interested. Mm -hmm. And many times these kids in school, they're just being thrown so much information. You Absolutely. know, the teacher just wants to be interesting in their curriculum. But we have to remember that. Um, the way to really spark someone's dreams and passions and all that good essence that that create our futures, many times they're not gonna speak about it. They're not gonna just come out and talk about it. We have to provoke them and we have to ask the right question. So I think that was a good, um, that I loved that about Kayla, the way she was yeah. written, is that she would target all her students that looked like they were holding in their dreams and she would just Pull it out. Absolutely. I mean, interested. I love that word. And for Jordan, I think for him being in that environment for so long, and it's kind of slightly the opposite of what you're saying is that Jordan kind of, for some of these guys, was just a soundboard. Sometimes I know in my own life, dealing with inner city young people and stuff, and them needing a, a positive role model, a positive male figure in their life, sometimes they just need you to listen. And being interested in them sometimes without saying anything is a way to gain extreme trust, especially when you're talking about dealing with young people. So I think Jordan, there's moments in this film where he's just available for whatever the student has to pour on them. And through that, I believe the trust and respect is gained. Yeah, yeah. that was great. I love that. Yeah. Um, speaking of love. Uh oh. <laughs> to her with love. I said I was going to do that. Her with, love. her with love is Mahogany's second film that will pre be premiering. Um, how do you feel about that? Oh, man. I feel I'm excited. First off, I'm very excited. I'm very grateful. Thank you, Mahogany. Thank you, Hallmark. Off the top. Tony, or everybody, Dan, everybody that was involved. Beverly, really, yeah, everybody. That things that happen behind the scenes that people don't really see that makes a, a, a motion picture happen. There's a lot of work that goes into it. Um, I'm excited to serve with love. Sydney Portier, the juggernaut, the, 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 the North Star, our creme de la creme, an actor who everybody loves for not just the person that he is, I mean, not just for the characters he played, but for the 
type of person that he is, you know, the type of humanity and the type of activism he did in the real world. So for Hallmark to pay this type of homage to that type of, to, to him and his movie, a film that people love, I hear to this day that people talking about, they hear that song playing all the time to serve the love. It, it's a wonderful experience. It's a wonderful uh, historic uh, moment for me to be part of such a, a you know, strong film to be part of something that was just so classic and a classic man at that. And um, I'm just blessed, I'm blessed with you to be a part of it. Thank you, Hallmark. I, I really, really am grateful. I'm not going to follow that. So, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, we're here. I co sign yeah. everything you just said. Yeah, yeah. And not to mention the audience. I mean, Hallmark audience is amazing. So, Incredible, yeah. like super supportive fans. Absolutely. Um, and I'm a massive fan of Karen Pittman. So to be following her as the first lady of Absolutely. the mahogany film, yes. uh, premiere, like what? Yep. So um, mm. to be right behind Karen Pittman is uh, a thrill and an achievement Absolutely. Uh, to me, personal, Absolutely. personal level. I stalk her all the time and I, I just need to meet her to get it over with because it's super uncomfortable at this point. Mm -hmm. um, I use way too much emojis on Karen Pittman's Instagram page. <laughs> okay, uh, where are we? Okay, so our yeah. friends were known to have fun, right? And, you know, we had fun dancing, you know, while we were planning the prom. We had movie night, Friday movie night. Uh, there was a, a class and a give back that we did to the community on Service Saturday. And the movie itself is fun. Uh, what can you share of uh, any fun stories that you may have had. And there, there's a time, because all we did was laugh. <laughs> we worked and we laughed. <laughs> all we did was laugh. Yeah. That you had fun uh, while filming. Oh my goodness. I mean, you did kind of say a lot of them in advance. <laughs> um, I mean, prom was epic for me because everybody had worked so hard on this film day after day and Proms, the prom scene just kind of, it gave us all a permission, me, you, the, the kids, the background actors. I was a background actor for almost six years, you know? So I love to be able to, to create a space with all the actors where we all feel like we are all participating in one scene. And for us to just be jumping and fist pumping together and like yeah. singing Bruno Mars at the top of our lungs, like it felt, like we weren't filming. It felt like we were celebrating this big accomplishment that we all had to pour so much of our love and energy and attention into, and we didn't have a chance to really hug it out or, or just really celebrate with each other. So I'm, it felt like the camera crew got to capture us just having fun right. with absolutely. each other, but we weren't having fun for the camera. Right, absolutely. Yeah. And, and that's exactly what I was gonna say. The fun part I gotta really say was you. And it's like, you know, uh, having a leading lady, you being the lead in this film and us having to trust and support each other, we had to kind of create a little bubble for ourselves that said we're going to be as <laughs> magnificent as possible <laughs> with all that we have. Right. And we're going to, they got to get it, whatever, just yeah. how you just said it. But I think the fun part is actually you and you being the lead and really keeping the spirit and certain things at a certain level was very important for us to continue to do the work and just kind of to be able to capture and capsulize the magic that we had, that we have. Yeah. Thank you, Tobias. I mean, I, it, was, it was fun. I mean, they, they can't your, tell. Your energy, fun. I mean, how you all see him now, this was his energy every day, uh, unless he didn't eat. <laughs> Not if he didn't you. eat, then he was gonna get real quiet. So if you just push some veggies and some fruits Hello. by his mouth, he oh, was the cool. light of your life. Um, yeah. Yeah, he made it very easy for me to show up mm -hmm. under such stress. So thank you. Um, uh, let's see the last question. Uh, with a little help from Jordan and her best friend Tanya, Kayla, played by me, realizes it's never too late to adjust your dreams. Mm -hmm. What do we each hope viewers will take away from seeing our movie? I'm going to go ahead and start with this one. Okay. So I, um, the, hearing that question, that it's never too late to adjust your dreams, I went from um, 
the, I, w- I went from college, I went to military. I was active duty Air Force so that I can go to college for free. And I finished college. And then I worked at a corporation at a big pharma marketing firm in New York City. And it wasn't until I was 28 years old that I decided I was going to leave all of that behind, everything that I worked so hard for all through my 20s, that I was going to leave that behind to go pursue acting, to go play make-believe in L.A. with no resume, no reps, no union card, I got nothing. <laughs> and now I am sitting on here talking to all of you all as a leading lady in a Hallmark film for Mahogany, the cards I used to send to everyone on the holidays. So yeah. what I can say is when you watch this movie, what you actually Um, The emotional scenes, when I am talking to these kids and I am telling them, I'm looking at them, I'm telling them that there is no expiration date on your dreams. There is no one that can get in the way of what is destined for you. You and God get to co-create this existence. When I'm looking at them and I'm having this conversation and and I start crying, that is from a very real place. And before we started filming, I told the kids, I'm not Kayla. Think of this as you are young actors and you want to have the long career that I get to have. I am talking to you as someone who has been in your shoes. Listen to what I'm saying, because this is great writing. Mm -hmm. Don't lose it because you're thinking about performing. Right. And they did. They just settled into that moment. All of us were in tears. (laughs) All of us are in tears. Every take. And that's what I really want the audience to walk away with is that. I am a living example of what my character Kayla is doing her hardest to teach these kids. And then she too has to learn that she can reinvent the wheel on her dreams. Um, and I'm not going to give anything else away, but yes. but yeah. that, that's the biggest takeaway for me. And that was a, a huge gift that Hallmark and Mahogany gave me to be able to step in those shoes and be a teacher where my mother used to be a teacher and to actually hopefully have this impact um, because of how much it aligned with my real life. So, yeah. Absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> you, you nailed that. You absolutely nailed it. Um, I would want people to take away from this is that it's just a normal story. You know, this is. It's just a normal American story. I don't want people, you know, a lot of times we get a lot of negative images and then now we have a Hallmark mahogany movie that's got to be, look at this. And it's like, this is normal. People, Nubian people go to argue. We have issues. We figure it out. We work together. Come on. We make, we make the most out of anything. So it's not, I don't want it to be like a big thing that is out of the ordinary because it really isn't. This is what we do all the time. This is who we are as a people. And just kudos to Mahogany and Hallmark for presenting it that way. And I just want people to just take away from it because it's universal. This happens to all kind of different people. It's not just a Mahogany thing. This is normal stuff. You have school districts that need help. You have people that step in to make it work. You have family issues, community issues, and we all need to work it out together. Come on, come on, you're preaching. Where's the fire? You know, let's, let's, you know, so that's the most important thing. When I left Trader Joe's. Huh? I should have got a choir for this because that was the moment (laughs) where we all, they would have came up right here and just, ah. But yeah. I I adore you. I adore you so much. And I'm, I was, I had so much fun doing this with you. And you all are in for a treat. I cannot wait for you to see the hard work that yeah. we did in creating this beautiful piece of art. That southern heat. I <laughs> <laughs> know we was in that southern heat. You don't see all the behind the scenes stuff, but I tell you, Scott kept it together. They made sure they fed me the best they could. And, uh, you know, we pulled it out. We pulled it out. And, you know, if anything that you need to do is always trust. And uh, thank you for trusting me and allowing me to play with you and have fun and create and just, you know, just to see what see what comes out of it without any crazy. Well, I'll be I'll be shooting you a lot of text messages this Sunday. 
I know, I know. So, I was telling you about phone near you. <laughs> Let me tell you, this woman has so many great ideas, and there's so much stuff bubbling in her head. I can't. I know my. I know my phone's gonna be flooded. <laughs> you know it. Yeah, I love you so much. I love you so much. So. I don't really want to leave you, but I have to. And we got to wrap it up because they have this thing called time. Uh. Ooh, time. <laughs> but we're going to play a quick game. Uh, we're going to call it rapid fire. It's a rapid fire game, this or that. All right. Okay. I know, I know these. I'm going to just spit one out to you. Get Whatever me. comes to your mind right away, you fire it off. And um, and you guys at home can play too. We won't hear you, but we'll pretend we'll hear you. <laughs> All right. Paint a picture or a vision board? Vision board. Okay. Play an instrument or sing? All day instrument. Sip on, uh, sip on sweet tea or you need a hot espresso? Mm, uh, hot espresso. Mm, okay. <laughs> I think you saw that. Mm -hmm. I was like, where's my coffee? I need a coffee. I can't do this. <laughs> okay. Um, bake up cupcakes or pies? Oh, that's a hard one. I'm going to go hard cupcakes. One. I'm gonna go cupcakes. I'm gonna go yes, cupcakes. I would have yeah. said cupcakes too. All right, now you're gonna spend a Saturday volunteering, or are you gonna go out and spend your Saturday in nature? I'm gonna volunteer. Ah, but I want to. <laughs> but then Lies, I'm gonna go for a hike. <laughs> <laughs> right after I finish volunteering, I'm gonna go for a hike because gosh, there's nothing like being in nature. <laughs> uh, but there's also nothing like community service. Absolutely, that's a tough one that they would compare Earth to humans. All right, I'm going to give you early morning to do your volunteer work and then the afternoon and, and the Perfect. evening. Perfect. I love in. that. Okay. <laughs> and since we're, we've are we done morning and afternoon, so for night, would you rather uh, do movie in the backyard mm -hmm, or mm. cozy up inside? So you've, 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 you've done community service all morning and then you went for a hike in the afternoon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But with all that, I'm gonna do movie night in the backyard because I'm about hey. to night. <laughs> and what are we watching? Are we gonna be watching to her with love? Hey. Come on, <laughs> tell them Tobias. When can they watch it? Oh, I think that's gonna be Sunday, September 11th. Nine eight Central time. So nine, it's nine eight. Eastern, what? eight Central. I love only on oh oh movies, oh mysteries, baby. Yes, yes. I'm and right. don't forget, we are so into live tweeting. So make sure that you live tweet during To Her With Love with the hashtag To Her With Love. Yes, To Her With Love. To and I her cannot love. wait for you all to see us. Ah, I'm going to be behind my pillows like this. That's classic. That's <laughs> classic. That's so classic. You did a wonderful job. It's a pleasure. I can't wait to work with you again. There's amazing things coming your way. I already know. And uh, everybody at Hallmark, thank you. And everybody out there, yeah. make sure you enjoy the film. Make sure that you hashtag, make sure you share with somebody, make sure you follow Sky, make sure you follow myself. There's so much more that we got to give and um, tap into us, please. Thank you.